screwed up for the whole situation. Okay. All right. Um, so, first of all, I just want to say we tricked all of you guys. This is not a party. It's called Fit Party. Oh. territories of the Coast Salish people, the Musqueam, <coughs> Tellwatooth, and Squamish. <laughs> thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, we just want to thank everybody for coming. As you know, this business would not be here without all of you guys. Like, all of you guys. Like, it wasn't just Wendy and I, Wendy, me, Juan, it wasn't just us, it was everybody. So thank you all. Um, I went to my friends yesterday to practice a speech. I said I can't practice with Patrick. He wants me to sleep with him, so he won't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so fortunately, my friend said a part of it really sucked, so I had to um, have some of it. Here we still slept with you. <laughs> speech just a little bit long, but it is interactive, so here we go. <laughs> Ben's my, uh, my handsome assistant. Welcome. The first day we were open, we were at Eastside Fitness just down the street. Um, we got excited. We had an extra instructor for the day, and no one came. No one. So oh, one day. <laughs> uh, now, when Darnell walks down the street, people duck. <laughs> we're in a class. Or they run by and say, I'm doing a jog instead. I did some sit-ups, I'll be in class tomorrow. It's like the person in the neighborhood, she's like policing their fitness. Um, okay, so this portion of the uh, speech involves audience participation. Thank you so much for helping out. I'm going to use lines from a movie or a person or maybe an ad. If you recognize the line, shout out the source, and Ben is going to throw a prize. Sorry, only one prize per line. We can't throw a prize for everybody who shouts out, but that'll be fair, and um, just, he's got good aim, so just be careful. <laughs> One night, Darnell and I and a couple friends went for dinner. During the evening, Darnell said, I have a dream. Martin Luther King. <laughs> And at the end, you can shout it out. So we're actually on number two. Wait a minute, I'm about to get to two. She and I agreed to find a location and sign a five year lease to open Eastside Fitness. That's two. And I'm not helping from here on in. You guys are on your own. The place was small. It worked for a while, but it was, it, it was impossible to have a class as well as personal training at the same time. So Jack heard me and said, We're going to need a bigger boat. We're gonna Just. Do <laughs> so after five years, we came to this location. Yeah, these are inside stories. This <laughs> Don't be a stranger, <clears throat> Rob. Okay. Um, I asked her how much more it was going to cost us every month, and she said, "The truth, you can't handle the truth." Are you good man? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> When we finally got inside the space and had a look around, Darnell turned to me and said, Well, we're not in Kansas anymore.
many incredible fitness instructors, instructors and personal trainers. Please shout out your guess as to which trainer said this real or magic line. Prior to training someone, the trainer said to the client, this is going to hurt a little, then it's going to hurt a lot. One. And the trainer said, it's okay, you can do hard things. <laughs> Other than Caroline, who doesn't actually work here. Who said that? Darnell. She looks at her watch. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Just Starface. Jesse. Who said Jesse? No. Oh, no. Come on. Whoever said Jesse, throw them something. <laughs> or possibly at the end of their class, they say, I'll be back. <laughs> that was a really bad one. Let's show it to Nigger. Nobody? Okay, we'll keep going. A very top and dedicated trainer and athlete received a serious choice down their leg. Oh, talk about that's a good choice. <laughs> they received a serious scrape down their leg involving gravel being ground into their skin from a bike crash and said, it's just a flesh wound. Who said that? Monty Python's Holy Grail. Yes, exactly. <laughs> said, you're going to have to be more comfortable with being uncomfortable. One! Oh, One, there you go. Okay, now you just have to do this. All right. Darnell quite dislikes someone bragging about her athletic accomplishments, so it's a good thing that I am giving a speech. Following her career as a professional athlete, Darnell's most important endeavor was to have three children in, in rapid Succession. Uh, when Jonathan and Darnell's children were young, she took up ultra marathon running. And we had just opened Eastside Fitness. Darnell went to her doctor and said that she's a bit fatigued. And the doctor said, You got this business. You got this business and you train people and you work out all the time and you have three ch young children. Anyway, you see where that joke's going. Uh, Darnell is very ambitious. When no new ideas are being floated around, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, for example, Darnell passed the idea of trying to gather friends to take up the sport of curling in an effort to get the curling team into the Olympics. <laughs> it was a hard no for that one. But, um, the next idea was breaking the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest game of hot scotch. Really? This was, oh my gosh. I, I was very enthusiastic about this idea until I learned that I would be hopping and scotching the six kilometers with six it's longer. People keep breaking this record. People like hopping and scotching. So this one is not quite dead. It's just a slave baby. Rob can help me plan that. There you go. Yeah. 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 The most recent event you might have all heard about. I don't have to read about this because it's very recent. Um, some teenagers decided to throw crap dinner at the studio. <laughs> yeah. But Darnell was nearby, so she took chase after the teenagers. And the teenagers were particularly unfit, so she's running along and she says, I can do this all day! <laughs> she could do it all day. So they finally got fatigued and, and she had some words with them and, and some of the words spoken were that the young teen was saying, uh, you know, you don't know who you're messing with. She goes, oh no, you don't know who you're messing with. That's awesome. I'm almost happy with that.
our favorite recent moment of Winnie is her advising our tall teenagers on how, on how to properly lift. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and if she got them to listen to them, you know, kudos to her. A shout out to Winnie for being so dedicated and hardworking with her trade and with her fitness level. <laughs> partner to Irina, he's a very good trainer. He's also known for his incredible memory for names and faces and his really good hugs. Recently, Darnell lamented that a client hadn't wanted to follow through with some of her training because of a, a delay on our end. Never happens. I suggested that Darnell reach out to her, maybe offer her a six pack, maybe a t-shirt, and a hug for Nestor. <laughs> Uh, Jessie has been in, Jessie, okay, Jessie's not here. She's been an integral part of developing Eastside Fitness. She's a dedicated fitness professional who's continually upgrading and adding to her presence and resume of skills. She's also a landowner, I think she's there now, and I believe is adding construction work to her list of abilities. Gabby! Where's Gabby? Where's Gabby? Where's Gabby? Where's Gabby? Gabby makes people laugh. And this is priceless. I do not have time to list all the lines, but I'm going to share a couple. Gabby said to a client, this is going to hurt a little. Then it's going to hurt a lot. You're, you've heard this line. <laughs> Gabby trained my son, Ben, uh, a couple of times. And he was trying to run the ladder. She's like, what are you, drunk? <laughs> I remember Gabby saying mid-conversation, me? I'm not Canadian. I am French Canadian. <laughs> And then I heard her speaking French to someone, I said, I didn't know they spoke French. She goes, they don't. Sometimes <laughs> I just want to speak French. <laughs> Whenever I feel like it. I'm blessed to have Gabby, not just because of her expertise, because of her awesome wit and personality. championship title for the Battlefield Fight League. Oz is an MMA fighter. He is also a three-time junior national wrestling champion for his home country of Turkey. Oz is also very friendly, outgoing, and talkative, so that makes him likely the nicest guy you know that can kill you in under 10 seconds. <laughs> Oz has his next fight on December 3rd. Good luck to Oz. Corey! Is Corey here? I'll say a couple words about Corey. Corey's the only person I know who's actually a paid actor. I know a lot of a lot of people are actors. Corey's a paid actor and a documentary film um, maker. Um, just remember that we knew Corey way back when. Corey is also an animal activist and one of the friendliest folks that I know. I have a hard time believing that she's not from Saskatchewan. <laughs> Too much 
our time off. It's not exactly how things have gone. The years have had many ups and many more downs, but what has been consistent was the folks that support us. Every class, run club registration, personal training session, social media posts, word about recommendation, clothing, east side fitness clothing, purchase has helped to keep us going. We could have never made it to 10 years without the fabulous folks at the east side of Vancouver. Not like them. <laughs> Thank you to Patrick and Ben who have been so supportive over the last 10 years.